testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing. Can you all hear me out there? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to BWTM's Thoughts. Tonight, we have Carson Jones versus Ted Cheeseman. For those of you around the world listening to this um, live audio commentary, we welcome you as well. Uh, big shout out to Caleb Trex. Hope you're listening in tonight. The IBF Super Middleweight Champion of the World. Of course, shout out to Team Jones as well. We were just with Team Jones a few hours ago. They were having, we were having lunch with Carson Jones and his team, and they are in good um, spirits. I spoke to Carson about three hours ago, just before he went back to the hotel room, and he's ready. He's good to go. He says, an experienced veteran, he says to himself, you know what, I've been here before. Um, I know what needs to be done. As for Ted Cheeseman, I actually caught up with him and interviewed him as well. And you'll see that in the second part of the documentary. Cheeseman says that um, he felt that Kelbrook wasn't living the right life the first time round. Uh, that's why Carson looked so good. The second fight, Kelbrook was in better shape, and that's why Kelbrook beat Carson. He said the first fight, he said Ben Hall, Ben Hall lost the fight because he wasn't living the right life style, and he said Brian Rose wasn't prepared for the f first fight. Then he got caught on the hop. These are the these are the reasons why Ted Cheeseman believes he is going to win the fight against Carson Jones. He feels that all the fighters previously have made mistakes against Carson Jones, have not been prepared. But he feels he has age on his side. He feels he has the experience to cope with Carson Jones. Now, the big question for tonight's fight is, how good is Ted Cheeseman? The opposition so far up to this point haven't, haven't been of the greatest. Cheeseman's been able to get away with everything he's done up to this point. Now, if he can go out and he can dominate or put on a good performance against a veteran like Carson Jones, it will be good for Ted Cheeseman. But in 12 fights, this really is a big step-up fight. Is it make or break for Cheeseman? Who knows? But for Carson Jones, he cannot afford to lose this fight tonight. He really can't, really, because where does his career go from here losing to someone like Ted Cheeseman? How good is Ted Cheeseman? We're all going to find out tonight. What are your predictions for the big fight tonight? We at BWTM Sports are very thankful and um, honoured to spend the week with Carson Jones in camp. And uh, it was really interesting to see. Often when fighters come from abroad, we don't really get to see what goes on, what the fighter has to go through. So we picked him up from the airport. And from that point, we've been with Carson Jones throughout the week of the camp. And of course, the second episode of that will be on BWTM Sports. After the fight, we will be going to see Carson after the fight as well. So we'll be able to give you some footage afterwards. So we are about to kick off the fight between Jones and Cheeseman. So let's hear the people in the room. Uh, Graham says, Cheeseman looks in good shape. Uh, Marky B.S. says Carson needs to throw punches, though all depends on what he does. Of course, Mikey fans is Cheeseman. Uh, Cheeves is Team Cheese. Cheeseman always in good shape. In fairness, he's naturally bigger. OK, Cheeseman is maturing. He could great Jones tonight, but still a test, a, a huge test. The question has also got to be asked is after Jones's fight against Margarito, which Jones actually was winning and a very Huge controversial uh, loss, in fact, to um, Margarita. Um, is Cheeseman as good as Margarita? And these are the questions that need to be asked. You know, um, how does he go about this fight tonight against uh, Jones? When it gets difficult for Cheeseman, will he be able to make the adjustments? That's what it's going to be all about. And Carson Jones, when I asked him, I said to Carson, listen, which Carson Jones is going to turn up tonight? He said to me, why do people keep asking me that question? It's only one fight I didn't do what I needed to do. And all the other fights, I fought to the best of my ability, he says. And tonight, I'm going to start fast. I'm going to start 
I'm going to start in the blocks quickly. I'm going to put it on big cheese as soon as possible. So that's where we're at with things, people. Just very quickly, those who are listening in tonight, please let us know where you're listening to this um, this uh, audio commentary tonight. And just a reminder, this is audio commentary, so please don't ask for any video or video links. We can't do that. Of course, if we start promoting video links here, we will get ourselves in serious trouble. So, yeah. Uh, will this be like Egerton versus Paulie Malinaji? Well, it depends. Do you feel that pa Carson Jones has passed it? And what fight would you say that Carson Jones showed that he's passed it? Now, Carson tonight won't be fighting for the title. I don't think he's fighting for the title tonight because he was a few pounds overweight. I think he was came in, if I'm right, 158. So he won't be fighting for the title. Although Cheeseman, should he beat Carson Jones tonight, can win the title. East London Massive Tea Sauce. Yes, what part of East London are you at? Because I'm in East London at the moment. This broadcast is coming live and exclusively from Forest Gate. And the man on the mic is from Hackney, or born in Hackney. Carson won't care about the title. And that's another thing that Eddie Camp said. They didn't, they didn't care too much about the title. They were just care, they just care about beating Cheeseman. This is it. I think that the master of ceremonies is ready. My end in the house. Shout out to my end. The best seat in the house is the one. Here we go. This is it. Master Ceremonies is actually making the introductions as we speak. So, coming to the ring now, Carson Jones. That hat that he's wearing on his head is the hat that we were in the O2 arena, uh, O2 shop earlier. He bought that, that hat right in front of us, Carson. Here comes his team now, Tandy. Adam Brayley, Josh, and Tony G. And of course, uh, Liddell Rhodes. A lot of you might know who Liddell Rhodes is. Liddell Rhodes is the guy that jumped in the ring and started beating up uh, Charlie uh, Z. Zelenoff when uh, Floyd Mayweather Sr. was uh, boxing with Zelenoff. The internet troll, they call him. Carson Jones in the ring. Wearing the black top at the moment, white trunks. Looks all business. Team Jones, you hear me? You keep saying you hear me. I hear you, champ. It's the most surreal feeling just watching this all now. Being in a spin in a whole week in camp with somebody. All the players, all the people that matter to him are with him. And now they're in the ring. Ted Cheeseman. The unknown quantity. How good is Ted Cheeseman? Tonight, we're going to find out. Yes. Uh, ben Hall and... Uh, Carson are good friends, but Ben Hall no longer training up, up at uh, Big Bear. They're all cheering for Cheeseman here, obviously, because he's the, he's the London lad. Cheeseman from Bermondsey, I understand. The same, I think it's Bermondsey, same place as uh, Mr. David Hay. The big cheese is in the ring. Age 22, Cheeseman, 31, Carson Jones, 5'10 each. Cheeseman, 10 stone, 30 pounds. Carson Jones, 11 stone, 4 pounds. The reach, well, Carson's got two inch reach advantage. KO presented 67 to Cheeseman, 53 to Carson. 12 fights versus 57, 53 rounds. Uh, uh, Cheeseman's four. Uh, let's see here. 12 fights, 
20, 20 to 1 for the draw, 4 to 11 for Cheeseman to win. Uh, stats were going through quite quickly. Good evening, everybody. So will we be having melted cheese at the end of this fight? Or will the big cheese come out on top? I've got to say, when I met Tit Cheese, a very, very likable guy. Really nice guy. Do you know what I mean? But um, it's all about the business now. You can be nice all you want outside the ring. Now you have to deliver inside the ring. Carson just loosened himself up. John Tandy. Actually, his gym is the MMA or the uh, boxing clinic in Angel, Islington. We'll look at their records. Actually, this is Carson Jones' 60th fight tonight. There's 57. He's had 60 fights. Three no contests. But, um... Okay, the stats are coming. He's waiting for the stats to come up here. Judge at ringside, Steve Gray. Well, uh, there's a guy called Gregorozzi Mol Molanda and Manuel Oliver Palamo. So, two foreign judges, one English judge, and the, host, the referee is Howard Foster. Great. Okay, let's see who gets introduced first. Cheeseman looks pretty confident as well. Strangest thing when we're seeing in camp with Carson, he was listening to a lot of, uh, as he calls it, baby making music. Okay, 31, 31 is Carson, 57 fights, 40 wins, 30 by KA, 12 losses, 3 draws, and 2 no contests. Now, don't look into those 12 losses too deeply because a lot of those losses have been very controversial decisions add the margarita fight to that introducing carson jones and in the blue corner the man from london the big cheese they call him his record he's 22 years old 12 fights 12 wins eight by ko and he's unbeaten all the way from London, England, Bermondsey, the Big Cheese, Ted Cheeseman. If you're asking why I can't be at the fight and still do the live commentary at the same time, I've got the best seat in the house, which is the live commentary, and then afterwards we'll go and see Carson afterwards. So. The guys are together now. Cheeseman had, they say they're both 5'10. I don't believe that. Cheeseman looks an inch taller. Okay. Uh, David Hay is uh, in the building. Just cut to him. I don't know why, but there you go. With Derek Chisora, the guy he knocked out back in 2012. And here we go. This is round one. Jones, Cheeseman. Jones behind that tight, high-held guard. Cheeseman pops out the jab. Both guys are taking centre ring. Cheeseman jab to the body. Right hand by Jones. Jones looking to throw the right hand over the top of che Cheeseman's left jab. Jones tucks up tight there. Cheeseman goes for one to the body. Jones, one, two. Went around the side of their head of Cheeseman. Right hand by Jones. And then a left jab. Jones starting quickly here. Cheeseman, the jab, though, answers him back. So both guys are holding center ring here. 
Jones tried to throw one around the corner there. Couldn't get it. Right, Cheeseman with the jab, though. Nice, good jab from Cheeseman. Tried to slip and throw an uppercut there, Cheeseman. Left himself open. Nice jab. Rocked Jones's head back with a jab there, Cheeseman. Nice, stiff jab there by Cheeseman. Carson tucks up. Tight. Well, good uppercut there from Cheeseman. Right hand there from Carson Jones. Right hand, Cheeseman backs up there. Cheeseman's face already is red. It's that right hand over the top Cheeseman's got to be careful of, of Jones. And I suspect with Cheeseman for Jones, the uppercut through the middle. Cheeseman's face is red, and he's looking for that left uppercut. Body shot from Jones there. They're definitely not feeling one of their hairs. Punch is going from round one here. One minute left of the round. Nice hard jab there from Jones. Nice little uppercut inside there from Cheeseman. Not a lot of power in the shot there from Cheeseman. He's just finding a good little right hand there popped in there by Cheeseman. But Jones to the body. Digs two to the body hard there, each Cheeseman. Another body shot there from Jones. Cheeseman sticking in there at the moment. Body shot there. Another body shot. And a right hand back from Cheeseman. Jones missing with a big right hand. One, two from Jones there. Cheeseman slips that. Not a lot of head movement from Cheeseman. He's there to be hit. To the body. There was body shots there. Cracking body shots there from Jones. He's working the body. One nice little uppercut there. And a right hand on the top. From Jones. Cheeseman's there with Jones, though. Right hand from Cheeseman. Jones backs up. End of the round. Interesting first round. Cheeseman's face is reddened. Nice first round, that. Nice first round. For me, it looks like the right hand over the top, Cheeseman's got to be careful for him. And for, for Cheeseman's got to be careful of the right hand over the top and the body shot, the good body work of Jones. For Jones, he needs to watch the left uppercut of Cheeseman. It's slipping through the guard there. So he needs to be careful. And of course, the body shot from Cheeseman. Those two shots there, uh, Jones has to be aware of. The left uppercut through the middle from Cheeseman. Good to see the redness has gone down from Cheeseman's face. And this is round two. Jones tucks up very tight. And it's walking forward to Cheeseman, but Cheeseman busier this round. Cheeseman left over the top. He starts fast in round two. Cheeseman's definitely started the second round much faster. Jones just tucking up and walking him down. Right hand over the top from Jones. A nice uppercut there from Cheeseman. Good shot. Picked a great shot there. There's the uppercut there we were talking about. Cheeseman throwing light punches. Picking the left uppercut there. Jones not getting off as much in the second round. Cheeseman starts a lot faster in this round. Have a little bit more movement. Picked up. Oh, big shot. Big right hand there from Jones. Cheeseman was kind of like pitter patter. He got caught with a big right hand over the top. But he took it. Took it. Good sign there. Cheeseman's still taking set the ring through the left uppercut inside. And when he gets that, left himself open for three shots. Through the body, referee is now telling Jones, keep his punches up and to listen. Fight continues. Cheeseman busy. Faster with a jab. A lot of one-twos there, but Jones is walking him down and landing heavy, painful body shots. And a big right hand over the top. And another heavy shot from Jones. But Cheeseman's there. He's taking it. A lot of Cheeseman shots are, I wouldn't say pitter-patter, but they're light shots. Tapping shots. But Jones sinking him, sickening body shots. Big right hand from Jones. I left up there. Jones's shots got more meat on them at the moment. But here comes back comes Cheeseman. That body work of Jones. 
He's digging in harder. Big right hand from Jones. And left and a right. And Cheeseman holds on there. And a right again. And Cheeseman's got no nose is bloodied. Jones is coming closer now, working the body. But Cheeseman is fighting back. This is going to be a war. And Jones is digging in hurtful body shots. For all the work that Cheeseman's doing, Jones seems to be doing the more damage here. And a right hand. And Cheeseman's still jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. He's going to have to mix a good body shot there from Cheeseman. This is a good fight we've got here. But the heavier shots are from Jones to the body. Cheeseman's got to stop those shots coming to his body. Nice little right hand there from Cheeseman. Body shots again and a right hand. And Cheeseman backs up. It looks a bit disorganized. And a right hand again. And another body shot from Jones. Cheeseman's nose is bloodied. Look disorganized there. I think those body shots are hurting Ted Cheeseman. Big right hand. Jones looks the stronger man in there at the moment. And he's whacking body shots in at Cheeseman. To be fair, Cheeseman is standing up to it. End of the round. But that round, for the work Cheeseman was doing, the body shots, Jones was getting some good body shot work in there. And Cheeseman's nose was bloodied. And he looked disoriented, not disoriented, just disorganized at the time. Then body shots were, were very painful, it seemed to me, to Cheeseman. It was having a significant effect on him. It depends what you like. Do you like the busier work of, of, of Cheeseman with lighter punching? Or do you like the heavier, more solid looking shots coming from Carson Jones? Cheeseman did some good work in the round. Don't get me wrong. Did some good work. And he did. But he shot a lot of, lot of pitter-patter. And for every pitter-patter he was doing, he was allowing Jones to get close and then land in big shots. Cheeseman, for me, has to land the shots and get out of the way. He can't stand straight in front of Carson Jones with pitter-patter shots. That's where the experience is, is there. Jones is, is, is on him. This is round three. And Cheeseman back on the jab. Fast. Popping the jab. And he's popping the jab. Popping the jab. And making the mistake of leaving the right hand. He's dropping the, the left hand and leaving the right hand to come over the top. And I did say this. Cheeseman probably Cheeseman's smiling. His nose is coming out. Uh, blood is coming out of his nose. I guess you're so used to doing the same thing over and over again against other opponents. Now you're fighting a guy who really has a bit more experience. He's walking through the jab. Cheeseman's working, but Jones is walking through the jab. He's actually walking through Cheeseman now. Every time jo Cheeseman throws a jab, Jones is looping the right hand over the top and Cheeseman is not making the adjustments and he has to make the adjustments if he's to win this fight. Cheeseman back on that jab. Just the jab, the jab, the jab. But he's jabbing and standing right in front of Carson Jones, which is what the problem is. He needs to jab and get out of the way. If this is a jabbing contest, well, Cheeseman's won it. He's, he's winning it, hands down. But those body shots are taking something out of Cheeseman, I'm telling you. Nice jab with Cheeseman. He's just popping the jab. But he's just allowing Carson to get close and land the body shots. They tie it for a second and back we go again. Those little pitter-patter shots are going to do nothing. Cheeseman has to put some meat on those shots. Here comes Jones inside, working inside there. You don't let Charles and Jones get inside. Big right hand from Jones. And left hook. Another sinking uppercut. Left hook, right hand. And Cheeseman's just standing there in centering. Pushes Jones off him. But tries to fire back. But Jones is firing big shots at Cheeseman. These light shots are just leaving Cheeseman in positions where he's getting it. Now they're going to war. But Cheeseman's getting really beaten up in there. You really, oh, good right hand back from Cheeseman there, though. Cheeseman fighting back there. The young man smiles. But Jones, big right hand inside there. It's the inside work that people are not seeing. It's inside work they've got to watch with Jones. You've got to keep Jones on the outside. That's where he works best, on the inside. Cheeseman is experiencing what, what Kel Brook was experiencing. And Kel Brook has said that uh, Carson would give him problems. Cheeseman with the jab, though, pushing Jones back with the jab. Nice little uppercut. Picked a nice shot there, Cheeseman. Right hand on top from Cheeseman. And Carson says no. 20 seconds to go for the round. Got to give Cheeseman lots of credit here. But 
Jones is sinking in body shots and another left hook and a right hand. Cheeseman just pulled out his head out of that one. But he's there to be hit and then body shots. Here comes Jones again like a storm. Uh, body shots. Sinking body shot and a big right hand over the top. And there's Cheeseman standing there, end of the round. And Cheeseman smiles and has a word with Jones and Jones answers him back. Referee gets between them, end of the round. The thing is now, if you've been doing something for 12 fights and it's been working for you, then you feel no reason to change it. A lot of the pitter-patter shots that, that Cheeseman's throwing, that's allowed Carson to get in close and fight on the inside, rather than him use the jab and slip to the sides. And when Carson gets close to time up, that hasn't been happening. So I don't know what the tactics are here, but really Cheeseman needs to be um, using the jab, and when Carson gets close, tie him up or push him off him, but don't engage with him. This is round four. Cheeseman back on that jab again, again. But he's standing right in front of Carson Jones, and now he's on the ropes, and the referee is going to say something here. Is it an accidental clash of heads? Ref is having a word with Carson again. And Carson said, I didn't hit him low. I didn't hit him low. I didn't hit him low. There you go. And Jones is saying, I didn't hit him low. I didn't see any low blows, but then I haven't got a replay in front of me. Let's go. Round four. Big right hand over the top from Jones. As Cheeseman's throwing the jab. Pulls straight back. Oh, and they're standing toe to toe with one another. This is a war. Jones and Cheeseman standing set the ring for a minute there. Jones now tucking up. Cheeseman's got his hands down by his side and coming forward on Jones. Nice little combination there from Cheeseman. Sharp. Cheeseman had a little 10 second patch that would look good. And the crowd liked that. But Cheeseman knows the bloody mess. A real bad mess there. Cheeseman is tough. Give him that. He is tough. But then body shots which Jones is landing are sickening. This fight's beginning to remind me of the Ben Hall fight. It really is. It's Ben Hall part two here. Jones is digging shots in, body shots, uppercuts, right hand, and Cheeseman's still there fighting back. But the thing, oh, the thing is, Cheeseman's Jones, and he's not moving his head at all. And sometimes when he comes forward to land, is that good left up there from Cheeseman? Inside there. The only thing is, Jones does overreach sometimes when he throws the right hand. Throws a straight right hand, reaches with. Jones looking for the body again, digs another body shot in, and another one. No right hand over the top. Jones sinking again. Keeps sinking, Jones. Jones digging body shots in again. Cheeseman looking to pick the left upper cup. Cheeseman ducking, weaving, slipping on the inside. It was nice stuff there. Nice combination again. Jones gets them two body shots inside. And Cheeseman says, come on, come on. Bangs his head. I'm tough. But you're taking a lot of shots here, Cheeseman. Get out of range. Big left hand and right hand on the top. Rocks Cheeseman's head again. And again, a left hook and a right hand. And then around, Cheeseman goes back to the groggy, going back to the corner there. I don't know what this is doing for Ted Cheeseman's career. I have no idea. The thing is, for me, it's the same thing he's doing round to round. 
throwing combinations, staying right in front of the guy. And he's allowing the guy in Carson Jones, who's better on the inside than himself. It's it, it's he throws a jab, jab, drops his hand, right hand over the top. Every round, same thing. There you go. Jab, jab, bang, right hand over the top. And it's predictable because he's throwing one, two, three jabs right in front of Jones. Does throw some nice shots inside. Cheeseman will give you 15 seconds of really good, brilliant work. And then he goes back to the double jab and then tries to throw a third jab on the right hand coming over the top. And that's where he keeps getting himself in trouble. I would limit myself to listen, two jabs and get out of there. Do not stand right in front of Carson Jones. This is round five. I believe it was a 10 round fight. Sky, a tiny belly has uh, Cheeseman up by one round. Fair enough. This is round five. Cheeseman again on the jab. Same pitter patter stuff again. Jab, 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 jab. And then jabs to the bot right hand to the body. Jones is tucking up, waiting, hunting. Ah, it's uppercut there from Cheeseman. Great uppercut. That was good. Through the shot, got out of the way. That's what you got to do all night long. Jones just taking the jab. Right hand over the top from Jones. Now one to the body. Cheeseman on the ropes. Right hand. Cheeseman slipping. I don't know if Cheeseman's tiring here or not. Right hand over top. Oh, big right hand there from Jones. Cheeseman through one. Like two to the body from Jones. Jones still coming forward. Just looking for the body. And then the uppercut up, in, up close from Jones. Cheeseman on the jab. Left, right combination from Jones. Right hand again. Now to the body. Jones then throws the uppercut on the inside. Throws the right hand over top. And left and a right. Cheeseman to his credit this round has not been a right, good combination here from Cheeseman. Again, looks good there. Jones now, big right hand on the inside. Just trying to wear Cheeseman down with body shots. Body shots again from Jones. Cheeseman on the inside, not doing any work. Nice uppercut on the inside from Jones. See, Jones is resting in between spells and then throw a good, good nice combination in from Cheeseman. Then Charles Jones digs big body shots in. This is a grueling round, this is. Good shot, nice shot there from Cheeseman. Nice right hand there from Cheeseman. They're in close, both guys are in close there. It's punch for punch. It's a grueling round, this one. It's all about desire. Carson missing with a big left hand there. Carson holding on there. Hulls on tight. Takes a big gulp of breath there, Jones. Bounces. Nice body shot there from Cheeseman. Nice jab from Cheeseman. And a right hand from Cheeseman. And then around. Interesting round there from Cheeseman there. Joshua ringside, co-promoter of this fight tonight with Eddie Hearn and the legend there, Barry Hearn. That was a better round for Cheeseman there. Jones was looking at the ring at somebody there. This is now round six. And Cheeseman starts fast again. Jones now needs to put Cheeseman, uh, not allow Cheeseman to get any sort of confidence in his fight. He now needs to put his foot down, 
and not the little confidence that Cheeseman man had in this fight. He needs to knock that out of Cheeseman and go back to work in the body and put the pressure on him now and have a real put on, test him again. Nice combination there for Cheeseman on the inside there. Cheeseman is a good fighter, no doubt about that. No doubt he is a good fighter. But his floor rounds will tell us a lot about the desire of both men. Is Jones slowing up in the round? I don't know. This is round six. Cheeseman working now. Put his punches together. A look, lot more fancy work from Cheeseman. Picking his shots. Does he sense Jones is tiring? Cheeseman is at work in Carson Jones' round. But here comes body shots now from Jones. There he goes. Left hook inside and a right hand. Cheeseman had his hands down there and got caught with a left hook. Here comes Carson Jones now. But here comes Cheeseman in return. Cheeseman on Carson Jones now, pushing him back. Cheeseman's miss, making Carson miss and making him pay now. Some good work from Cheeseman in this round. Cheeseman's hands down by the side, popping the jab. And then Carson lands the body shot. Carson trying to walk him down now. But Cheeseman's giving Carson much more movement this round. It's definitely Cheeseman. And here goes two good body shots from Jones. Good combination inside then. Cheeseman landing. This has been Cheeseman's round. Definitely Cheeseman round this round. Jones looks like he's tiring in this round. But I don't know if he's taken a round off or he's tired. Great work from Cheeseman this round. Jones looks like he's tiring. Just outwork Jones this round. Uppercut inside from Jones. Jones, and this round, Jones has looked a lot more sloppy. And Cheeseman's picked him off beautifully. End of the round. And Cheeseman whispers to Jones, and Jones pushes Cheeseman. And uh, Cheeseman has a little wink at the ref. That was definitely a Cheeseman round. Much better round there from Ted Cheeseman. Much better. They're just talking here that Tony Bellew has just realised that David Hayes behind him commentating or talking to somebody else. I think it was Gareth Davis. David is talking. And then Tony Bellew's in front talking for Sky Sports. Chisora's in the building as well. Joshua's in the building. I think Dubois in the building. So it's a night of heavyweights. This is round seven. Now, either Jones is tiring or is tired or Jones has decided to take a break. I don't know which one it is. This is round seven. He can't find another round like Cheeseman had the last round, Jones. Cheeseman starts fast for round seven again, just like round six. Just popping loads and loads of jabs, hands down by the side. Cheeseman's really loosened up this round. Cheeseman does a mini bolo punch and then throws a combination. Jones has just got his hands tied up, tucked up at the moment. And Cheeseman is throwing combinations. Fast combination. Not much power by it. Just light punches. Lots, lots more mobility from South Pole to Orthodox Cheeseman. Jones seems to be struggling with it at the moment, the pace. See, he's now made the adjustment there, Cheeseman, which is good. Good for the young fighter. This is where it's so important about making adjustments. 
Here comes Jones now, though. Good right hand on the top from Jones. Oh, nice combination from Jones there. They stand in front and trade. And Cheeseman smiles. Here comes Jones. Good left hook there. And here comes Jones now. He's got Cheeseman on the ropes. Cheeseman fighting back, though. Cheeseman smiles. Jones now wrestles with him. Cheeseman smiling. Nice upper cut there from Cheeseman. Nice combination here from Jones now. Jones having a bit more success in this round. But here comes Cheeseman. Last minute of the round. Upper cut there from Cheeseman. Jones coming forward. Upper cut there from Cheeseman. Jones working on the inside. Here comes Jones with body shots. And a right hand over the top. Jones starting to put punches together again like before. Good combination inside there from Cheeseman who answers back. Puts his hands down by his side. Showboats. And looks at Jones. Body shots from Jones. But he looks tired to throw those shots though. Big body shots from Jones, but he looks, looks so tired and sluggish now in round seven. Hard nights work now for Jones. Here comes Jones again, body shots. Re digging hard body shots in this round. It's a grueling fight, end of the round. The referee now having a word with Jones about his head. Just seen replay out of. Cheeseman having some fun here. Mini little bolo punches here. And Cheeseman smiling with the bolo punches. Throwing nice straight punches through the guard of Jones. Carson Jones does look tired. Good evening or good morning to those people listening to this from around the world. Let us know where you're from. We'll give you a shout out. Okay, now. This is now round eight. Two rounds to go. Tony Billy has to fight 69-65. Jones looks a bit more sprightly in round eight. She's with a body shot there. And a right hand, a hard right hand over the top. And Jones backs up. Here comes Cheeseman. Jones backing up for a second. Tucks up tight. Cheeseman throws a right hand over the top. Jones tucking up. Getting caught with a left hook round the guard now. Jones just tucking up and taking the shots and getting in close. It could be an old pro's trick where you make the guy work a bit for a round and then you come on strong late on. That's what I'm looking to see if Jones is going to try and do that before saying he's completely knackered. But Jones really can't afford Cheeseman to be uh, taking rounds like this or starting rounds like this. Going to jump on him. Nice body shot there from Jones. Right hand over the top from Jones. Jab from Jones. They tie up in close. Right, big right hand on the top from Jones. Cheeseman, lack of head movement is a problem there. That's where he gets tagged. He stands too too long in front. And there's a big right hand again from Jones. And the body shots are sinking in again. Left, big left hook from Jones. And Cheeseman looked hurt there. But he took it. He's moving. Jones hunting this man down again. Jones on the hunt. Jones on the hunt. Cheeseman against the ropes. Cheeseman does not want to be here, but he's slipping. He's seeing Jones' shots, which is nice. And here comes Cheeseman firing back. It depends what you like. Do you like the, the faster shots or do you like the shots with more meat on them? Jab, jab, jab from Cheeseman. 
rocking Carson Jones' head back. Shots just light shots, but they're still knocking Carson Jones' head back. And they're going to be scoring shots. It's all right going behind a tight guard, but if your head's being rocked back all the time, that's what the judges see. Jones and Cheeseman on the inside now. Last 20 seconds. Jones backs up to the ropes. Cheeseman shakes his head. Nods his head, in fact. And right hand over the top. Jones against the ropes. Good body shot there from Jones. And then a left, little left hook, check, left hook inside. End of the round. What's going on with Jones? What's he saying? Shaking his head at something. They're just showing some replay of Cheeseman's right hand over the top there. And then they're showing Jones through the middle, throwing a beautiful left hook and a right hand. This is where Cheeseman stays on the ropes a bit too long. Then we've seen good work from Cheeseman again, the right hand over the top, backing Jones up. Jones standing up. And John Tandy talking to him, but Jones is on his feet. He's standing up. He's not sitting down during the round. Interesting. There comes Jones now. He's digging a big body shot in. Here comes Jones on left hook. Now a big right hand from Jones and another one. Jones is really powering forward now against Cheeseman. This is round nine. The Cheeseman answered him back though. With a nice body shot. I'd be interested to see how much how much Cheeseman actually weighs tonight as well. Body shots inside there from Jones. And a big right hand, and a left hook and a right hand from Jones. Left hook there from Jones. Cheeseman's not moving now. He's right, standing right in front of Jones. And Jones is coming forward. The much movement we had earlier from Cheeseman is gone. Cheeseman with the, the jab now. All that speed from early on, all that flashy combination. He's popping the jab out. Cheeseman coming forward. But, oh, he's moving again now, Cheeseman. Not much. Still right in front of Jones. But now, I think later on in the fight now, Jones is not throwing body shots. They're talking to one another in the clinches. I'd like to see Jones do more work, though, to me, in, in close. Now the referee is going to do something here. And I'm not sure if he's going to take a point of Carson Jones here. Here we go. Point getting taken off. Here we go. Point being taken off here. Not great. Johnson's going to have to stop Cheeseman, I think, for this fight. He'll have to stop him. That's the only way. And he knows it, I think. This is round nine. Jones has to try and stop Cheeseman. Left hook there from Jones. Great left hook. Cheeseman took it. Flush. Right hand over the top from Cheeseman. It is discouraging, though, when you're doing OK in a fight and then you start uh, get point taken off you. Cheeseman getting momentum this round. Pushing down on Carson Jones's head. Jones puts a combination together, a right hand around the corner, and a left and a right, and Cheeseman backs up there. I think he's hurt, Cheeseman. I think he's hurt. Cheeseman's hurt. Cheeseman is hurt. Cheeseman's definitely hurt there. Cheeseman's hurt, and he says, come on. 
Chase was hurt there. And John senses it. End of the round. Oh, oh. Wow. Wow. Jones has to jump on Cheeseman this last round because you know he's not going to get the decision. No way. Point deduction. They've been wanting to deduct that point from ages. Big round that was. Cheeseman got rocked in that round. He got hurt. I mean, he really got hurt. The legs were going and everything. Now, can he recover enough in this round? Jones has got to jump on Cheeseman. Don't allow him any anything. He's got to jump on him and land all he can to try and get Jones Cheeseman out of there. Cheeseman trying to get the crowd behind, behind him now. This is a tenth and final round. And Cheeseman smiling, winking at Jones. Cheeseman's got a box, box, box. And as for Ch Jones, he's got to jump on him. He's got to knock Cheeseman down or knock him out. I think he's got to get knockout to win now after being a point taken off him for, I still don't know why. Cheeseman using the double jab in the right hand there. He's moving, a lot of movement. Turn southpaw, but Cheeseman doesn't look great on his feet. I've got to say, doesn't look too great. Looks tired as well. Jones still has that solid look about him. But Cheeseman's working hard. Right hand over top from Cheeseman. Jones has not yet initiated an attack yet on Ch Cheeseman. He's allowed Cheeseman to recover. Right hand there from Cheeseman. He's bouncing again. He's, got, he's saying, come on, come on, he's saying to the crowd. Cheeseman ties Jones up. Jones is going to leave this late. One minute 45 left. If Cheeseman can just get through this round, I think he's going to win the fight on points. Jab, jab, jab from Cheeseman. Jab, jab. Jab's been a key for Ch Cheeseman tonight, for sure. Jab, jab. And Carson backs up for a second, tries to launch an attack. When Cheeseman puts a jab on Carson, he doesn't seem to know quite what to do. Cheeseman's footwork's foot, foot been pretty decent tonight as well. Last minute of the round. I don't know if Carson's blown his load in, this, in the final, last round, round before, may I say, because he doesn't seem to have done much this round. Right hand from Cheeseman. Jab from Jones. It's all been Cheeseman, all behind the jab. Cheeseman's shown lots of movement, smart. When after getting rocked in at ninth, he's come out and box like a dream. Jones leap, try and leap him with shots. Cheeseman leaning down on him. Jab from Cheeseman. Hands down by the side, looks at Carson Jones. Last 10 seconds. Jones looks tired. Right hand, left, right from Cheeseman. End of 10 rounds. Cheeseman boxed well. Came for some difficult moments. But I think he's won this fight. Good fight for Ted Cheeseman. Very good fight for Ted Cheeseman. She had a decent chin. Showed he could box. Um, but I didn't, I, Carson didn't go for it in 10th round. I don't know quite why that was. They're just showing the fight again.
Just showing good Cheeseman's good work. Good work from Cheeseman. Um, I think he's won the fight, definitely, on points, to be fair. Jones had his moments, but not enough of them. And when he had them, he didn't capitalise and put the foot right down. Now, I don't know if he had concerns about his fitness, but he, he let him off the hook. Tony Belly has it 98-93. I don't know about that. 96-93? Yeah, I, I think that's more close to 96-93. But of course, the, the point off as well, something else we have to consider. I won't mind watching that fight again, actually. Cheeseman and Jones too. Definitely. I won't mind watching that again. But fair play to Ted Cheeseman. Took, took his lumps. Came for an acid test. Oh, well, I, I can't see him losing this fight on points. No way. He's the home fighter. No chance. Just waiting for the decision here. Cheeseman wins the fight on points. Unanimous and extremely wide. Why are we not surprised? Why are we not surprised? Jones had to knock Cheeseman out uh, to possibly get a draw. Um, Cheeseman won the fight. I don't think there's any doubt that Cheeseman won the fight, but the wide scorecards are 100 to 89. People laughed my head out. And. Uh, 99, 90, 99, 99 to 91. It's a joke people are saying. Um, so it's to be expected. Um, home fighter, you know. So if he gets the points, then he'll win the fight. But he won the fight. Regards to the points decision, um, outside of the judges, Cheeseman still won the fight. And it's a learning fight for Ted Cheeseman. He just needs to learn that when he throws a double jab, he's got to bring his hand back. He leaves himself, I mean, walks back in straight straight lines. You know, um, there's plenty of like middleweights in the world with good right hands that won't allow Cheeseman to get away with what he got away with tonight. But fair play, he's the new WBA uh, kind of intercontinental or something champion. So shout out to Ted Ch Cheeseman. Did the business. Came for the test. And let's see what he's got to say for himself. trying to win all the time and trying to nerve me all the time. But I feel I've got exceptionally well. I've got the job done perfectly. Have you ever hit someone so hard so often and not put them away? Yeah, it, yeah, I was hitting him very hard with flush. And it was tough. I know I had him a couple of times in the head and body. But it was just all about getting this fight. This is a career changer, this fight, this win. To push one of the big things. I didn't want to take risks. To make that happen, to take risks when I need to take risks. And all tonight was about winning. I wanted to get him out of there. But I never pushed for it. I pushed for a win. I made sure I'd done a given boxing lesson. You've gone the full 10 rounds for the first time in your career. What did you learn about yourself in there? Oh, I could have gone another five rounds if I wanted to. I felt great. I was moving around lovely, popping the jab mark. Fans were still sharp. I've been working so hard in the gym. We've got great sparring in the gym. We're sparring well. A lot of rounds of Felix Cash. We're bringing both of each other on. And I just can't wait to push on to the next fight now. All I'm thinking about is who I'm going to get next now. A word on him. A uh, Wiley. Veteran, he always good, gives a good uh, showing when he comes over here. Did you think the cards were a little bit wide? Did you think it was a little bit closer than that? Or was that fair reflection in your eyes? No, I thought I won every round, really. Some points of the rounds it was giving me, but I was sort of, first four rounds, I knew, I, not like he thought I was a 22-year-old kid who was a boy and not strong. And I knew if I sat on him a bit, I'd get him tired and his feet would get slow. And I'd start being able to get on the way out of my jab and make him miss and make him look slow. And I was enjoying myself in that. I thought, unbelievable. In terms of the environment and the atmosphere, you have to do that little pitch yourself moment at the top of your ring. We've got a great reception for a 22-year-old man in just his 13th fight in front of 8,000 people here at the O2. Yeah, it's great. I love it. I just can't wait for more. I'm so happy with what I've done already. 
and I can't wait for the next one. I'm already thinking about my next big fight, next big show. I can't wait. I love the sport and I, I love fighting. I'm going to do that tonight. Have a good old fight. No trouble for it. Get a winner belt, get paid. What more can you want? Well, no, it's going to take something big to take that smile off your face. Train and tell you, tell you, analyze that performance from Ted. Uh, it was a great learning fight for Ted. You know, uh, Carson Jones is a wily old veteran and, uh, you know, he's probably seen better days, but he was still in there slugging away till the end. And uh, I thought Ted Box smart at times behind his jab and straight shots. Uh, he worked clever on the inside. You know, he's still got a lot to learn, but. You know, what he showed there was a grit of determination and boxing ability as well. So I was uh, well pleased with him tonight. Ted, the big cheese, well done. Absolutely. So shout out to T Cheese and well done. The big cheese is victorious at the O2 tonight. It will be interesting to see what Carson's got to say when we go to see him later on. Um, commiseration to Carson Jones, but of course, that was a, a good fight there. Cheeseman coming through some difficult moments. He said he won every round. I'm not too sure about that. But the most important thing is he's got in there with a veteran and did the business. And even when he was hurt and, and had difficult moments, he was able to stick in there and still come fighting back, which is which is a very good sign. So for Carson Jones, is what happens now to Carson Jones? Um, where does his career go from here? I know they had big things in the pipeline for him. What happens now? It's going to be very interesting. But um, my, Matt B says, I said after the first two rounds, what the judges will see. It happens all the time on these shows. So uh, Adam Scott says he's years away from world level. Mike said, Carson had real moments. He will come back. He always bounces back. I'm not sure what Carson will come back for. Money, question mark. Uh, realistic boxer says, just becoming more corrupt and more biased every time. If a judge had a true reflection, they'd lose their place. Well done, Ted. Yeah, shout out to Ted um, and what he did tonight. Good performance. Um, but again, typical judges. I mean, what do you expect on a matchroom show or any show? Most shows on, in the UK, big shows with the hometown fighter. Hey. You know, years ago, they say when you go to Italy, you know, you get to knock a guy down for a draw. So, hey, um, it's, it's, it, it seems to be happening all over the place. So, um, it's not much you can say about that. You've got to protect your investment, haven't you? So, what else were they meant to do? So, coming up later will be a Coley versus Chamberlain. Johnny Nelson is a company man. <laughs> actually, I've got commentary, um, uh, uh, a section where Johnny Nelson actually predicts that Cheeseman would um, get beat by um, Jones. So. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We appreciate you. And uh, don't forget still to check out the documentary of Jones versus Cheeseman, which we have on the channel and the other great videos we have. This has been BWTM Sports signing out. Have a good one.